Good day to everybody. My name is Gordon the Nodius, and today I return to the wonderful, quote unquote, wonderful world of Fallout 2. After I slaughtered some uh, imbeciles, literally. I keep, I did slaughter them, and they're all dead. This is exactly what I was looking for. Some high caliber death. Ah, uh, yes. Great things. Now, you may be wondering, why did I do this off screen? You see, I tried to record it once. Hey, look at that. Sulik was killed by Cassidy. Great. I tried to record it another time. Oh, wait, look at that. Miria is dead. She got killed by a burst. Hmm, amazing. Well, I tried again. You know, I'm not, uh, I don't really think I'm a quitter. I tried again, and again, and again, and always someone died, because of things I could not really influence that well. And, uh, I got a little pissed off, and I decided I was going to just do it off screen, and I did it. I farmed it for the best options possible. I'll keep trying to pick the locks, of course. Now, it was really quite uh, frustrating, if you would have to know, because all the time I would get critically stricken for 150 damage, and I would just reroll because this is, this is literally bullshit. Now, I don't mean to sound like a little bitch. As if I'm bitching about stuff, but no. I was not interested in getting critically hit, losing to RNG, like number random generator, random number generator, number random generator, what am I even talking about? I dislike losing to RNG because this is literally trash. It's, it's stupid. Because I would almost never critical strike but if some enemy decides to attack me it will critically strike most of the time now you see i was furious oh yes uh, uh wait there's two of them there's two corpses there there's, there's, there's the second one good now, there's a lot of loot to be looted in this area, so I'm gonna proceed to loot all this loot. It's good. I like uh, looting loot. Oh, look at that. It's it's paradise. Oh, it's a deck of cards and some meat jerky. Oh, no, no, Cassidy. I did not mean to click you. I forgot if I had looted this fellow. Oh, yes, I have looted him. Well, okay. Here we have some Merc Raiders. Some corpses, of course, uh, not nothing really exponentially substantial. This here, however, is the captain. Their captain, yes. He has an assault rifle. Yes. And here we have a footlocker. We're just gonna use this on the footlocker. We pick the lock, and within we find some dice. Tuko's dog tags. These foul smelling dog tags list the owner as Tuko Benedicto Pacifisto Juan Maria Ramirez, followed by the number 27. Well, I'll take it them. And uh, it's actually not Juan, I apologize, it's Juan. Because Spanish people pronounce J as H sometimes. I'm not sure when, but it's not Juan, it's Juan. That's that's the thing I know. I've learned this from my time spent with uh, Spanish imbeciles. You know. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Another merc captain. Some bullets. Some ammo. I like ammo. I'll take all the ammo. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Ah, <sighs> we picked the lock successfully. Oh. Another pair of dog tags. There's a blondie's dog tags. 
I have the owner's name scratched off and the name Blondie scrolled on the back beneath. The name is the number 11. Okay, we're looting the dog tags. I like uh, taking those dog tags apparently. There's a black iron safe. Okay, first of all, we're gonna check for traps because it's a safe. Close inspection of the safe reveals a black wire running into the dirt just beneath the safe. Brushing away the dirt, you discover that the fuse runs to a stick of dynamite with a timer on it. Try and disarm the trap. With a surgical precision, you disarm the fuse and pull the dynamite from beneath the dirt. The trap is now disarmed. Now crack this safe. You see a huge black iron safe. Spin the dial, listen for clicking noises. You turn the dial slowly for several minutes, but you can't make out anything. Spin the dial. Leave the safe alone. Do that, do that. Okay, maybe I'll find something in the locker. Ooh, felt it is um, I can't pick the lock. Interesting. There you go, we picked the lock now. This is Angel Eyes' dog tags. Uh, the owner has Angel Eyes and the number is 16. Okay then. Uh, the corpse. Did I loot the corpse? I did loot the corpse. Let's, um, maybe the numbers in these three dogs tags can open the safe. There is a clank and the safe is now unlocked. I get 500 experience points for cracking the Raiders safe. Good. Now let's see what kind of goods will we obtain. Account book. Oh, interesting. This account book lists a series of monthly payments in made to the monastery band from the bishop family in near Reno. The payments depend heavily on how much pressure the mercenaries put on Vault City. Vault City might be interested in this. Good. There's some buff out. Some... Oh, a cat's paw magazine. And some payments. Good. Great, so now I know what was going on with uh, Vault City. Now I may have to communicate with this uh, radio here, with this tribal here. Let me just make a little Terran Diamond Space. And... He just stares at me in silence. Is your tongue this... removed actually? Could be that his tongue is removed and he cannot speak. Hmm. My, uh, my condolences. I'll loot these boxes now. They could be empty, or they could be full. It's all about the chances. Oh, Miria, Miria, please. I know that you love me. I love me too. But please, don't block me. Some jerky. Uh, some flares, sledgehammer, shovel, ammo. These crates are not lootable, are they? They are not lootable. Disappointing, to say the least. Well then, I guess we're going to climb up this ladder. The fires in themselves... I have broken the raider's strength, they will no longer be able to raid the region. And I get 2000 experience points. Now this here is a... Uh, a little bit... Of an interesting place. I did not expect to find a place like this. Not at all. You know, actually, I'm gonna keep uh, my lockpicks because I may have to go back to Vault City. Yes, I'm gonna go back to Vault City to report. Barkus will be happy to. No, I don't wanna bother with red scorpions. This is gonna be a bother, truly. Well, <sighs> as you can see, Sulik is the main villain, quote unquote, in this uh, little band of friendship I have created around me. Cassidy loves attacking the villains, you know, he likes killing the bad guys and 
you could probably tell that uh, Sulik is quite a bad guy. I wish I could uh, really just stop Sulik from being such a bad guy, but you see, Cassidy just cannot stop attacking Sulik or Miria or Myron for that. So let's hope it does not do anything stupid. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you for not attacking one of the important members of the group. Instead, thank you for attacking the worthless rad scorpions which decided to attack us. No, do not worry. We will kill them all, and everything will be fine. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, very soon I will level up. By the way, I just wanted to let you know, my friends. And when I level up, I hope I'll have a lot of fun with my newly obtained levels. And there we are. We hit it for five points. So if I was an enemy, I was going to completely obliterate this uh, red scorpion from the distance back uh, there, you know. But I was not an enemy. And I couldn't obliterate it. A thousand three hundred experience points. Oh, good, good stuff. My friends, thank you for watching. I sincerely hope that you managed to enjoy this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope I'll get to see you next time. Goodbye.